March is Red Cross Month. The organization, of course, does so much for our community, and now is the time that we can help give back to support them. This morning, Kitty Yanoni, Red Cross Board Chair, and Jeff Shanka, Red Cross Board Vice Chair, join us this morning with all the details on the month and also tips on how to prepare for a disaster. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, okay. big month for the Red Cross. So let's talk about it. What is happening that's special this month? Well, you know, we are an organization that operates through our volunteers. We have a very small staff, but we have, we're very lucky. We have over 3,000 volunteers in the state of Hawaii, and they do all kinds of things all over the state uh, when needed. And so we're celebrating them this, right now. This is a time of year um, ever since 1943. When that became March became the month that uh, we celebrate our volunteers every year. Right, and they do do so many great things for our community. What different aspects are yeah. our volunteers working in? Oh gosh, uh, Jeff is going to talk about one of our key programs, which is uh, our smoke alarm program. But we are out there whenever there's anything. We were at the, um, we, we were at, if there's a fire, if there's a home fire, if there's a flood, if there's a um, any kind of an accident. Where you know we're, a, we're we have a humanitarian mission, and um, I the way I like to look at it, you know, a lot of us wake up every day and we see things happening in our community or around the world and it makes us feel bad we have compassion and through the Red Cross I've always found that we can turn our compassion into action um, whether you're working in our office or helping up at Tripler Hospital where we provide the volunteer program all the volunteers up there uh, you're bringing your dog to your trained dog to do bonding with people in the hospital at Tripler um, you're out in the community we have Red Cross high school programs um, but we need yeah. a lot of volunteers in the, order to make it happen. Right. The yeah. list is endless for it what is. you guys do, and volunteers are so crucial. Now, of course, you guys are always there when a disaster comes into place, but what should folks be doing to prepare for a disaster ahead of time? Sure, yeah. You know, we always say have a plan. Uh, you know, uh, we encourage people to gather all their really important documents so you're not staying inside too long. If a fire starts, you're not frantic. You have everything ready to go. And we have a lot of instructions about that on our website. We have, um, we have even have a pillowcase program uh, in the schools that teaches kids how to put what they're going to need in their pillowcase and have it ready. And um, we give them special pillowcases. Uh, we we um, are constantly doing education and preparedness tra training. Um, we have volunteers who do life have life-saving skills and they know how to do first aid. Um, we teach kids about uh, all kinds of uh, preparedness. We start young. Good, and, as uh, you should though. Yeah. That's when you really so, learn those key safety yeah, skills. All right, and then Jeff, I know Kitty touched on it briefly, but can you tell us about the Red Cross Home Fire Program? What is that? Yeah, it, you know, seven Americans die every day in, in, in home fires, which is just tragic. And what's even worse about that is that half of them are preventable if it had a working smoke alarm. So at the American Red Cross, uh, you know, we install alarms, we replace batteries, we teach people how to avoid home fires, often happen in the kitchen. So far, the alarm uh, program has saved over 700 lives nationwide. Wow. Our region alone has installed over 2,300 alarms and in over 815 homes. Our goal this year is to ins install 1,000 or more alarms on three different Saturdays, April 18th, April 25th, and May 2nd. Okay, and again, these are free smoke alarms, so I'm sure a lot of people, they're wondering how they can sign up for them. What do they have to do? Yeah, just call our number, 808-739-8111, or email preparehawaii, one word, at redcross.org. We focus on the elderly and those who need more time to leave a home that is on fire, but we also do this for anybody who calls. My, my company, First Insurance, has been doing this for over four years. It's a great way to get employees involved in community service. I recommend any company who wants their employees involved to call the uh, Red Cross and become involved themselves. Mm -hmm. The very same number, 808-739-8111. Perfect. And again, this is the month to support our Red Cross, so it's especially a good time to remind you folks to head out if you can volunteer, if you're willing to give your time, or if you're willing to just help out the Red Cross in any way, make sure you give them a call or find them on their website we as want, well. Yes, and we want to thank you. KHON has been oh, a long time supporter and uh, board member, um, and um, we, we really appreciate that, so thank you. Of and course. you can donate as well. If you don't have time to volunteer, please consider a donation. We'll That's take the right. checks, too. We'll take the checks. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I mean, any way to help, again, this wonderful organization that is run completely on those donations and the donations of your time. Right. Well, thank you both so much for joining thank us you. this morning. Thank you so much.